Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Yeah, I told you it was gonna be early when we got out of here. It is actually 5.20 right now, and we're just about ready to get out of here. Yeah, it's gonna be an early morning. That's exactly what I wanted. Get out of here real early and then uh, get a good head start, right? As soon as my 10 hours was up, I mean, I got here about seven o'clock last night, so I could have been rolling right now already, but uh, yeah, I got up a little later than I wanted, but whatever. It was only 15 minutes late. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's get out of here. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Nebraska, I'll fuel her up over there. 
that'd be my one of my last places that I can fuel up here in the US anyways well that I really would want to fuel I can fuel up there in North Dakota again if I want but I don't really like fueling in North Dakota yeah but anyways we'll continue cruising along here and uh, appreciate you uh, watching so far we are coming in to York Nebraska ladies and gentlemen yes indeed I am going to be making me a pit stop up here that's a fact yeah we're gonna go in here and uh, fuel up the truck like I said earlier and I'm thinking about going in here and taking me a shower too I think that would be Wordly of doing that and then go have me a bite to eat and get out of here I suppose but uh, yeah that's the plan as of right now anyways so let's go ahead and go in here and see what we can do right yeah looks like we do have a south wind today again like we did yesterday evening so that would make sense why my fuel mileage continues to go up but yeah this is a petrol truck stop up here. It actually says 66, Philly 66 on the side there too, but it is definitely a petrol, so I'll go in there and get some go go juice, like they say. Yeah. We got everything taken care of that we needed. We had our fuel, we had a shower, and we had a bite to eat real quick. 500 feet, turn left on South Lincoln Avenue, US 81. All right, RJ. I called the customer. Dispatch had sent me a message asking me to call the customer and update them with my ETA. Basically letting them know when I expect to be down there. So uh, we finished doing that. And uh, According to the customer, I don't know why, but they said my appointment is supposedly set for uh, Friday 10 o'clock in the morning, which I find a little difficult to believing, but miles. if that's the case, we got to giddy up and go, yeah, we got to really put the hammer down this time, that's for sure. We gotta go. I don't know why they had it on the satellite that it was supposed to be delivered on Monday and now they're saying it's supposed to be there Friday by 10 o'clock. I don't get it, but whatever. We'll put the hammer down, get their ASAP, right? That's all we can do. Won't uh, take too many breaks here in between, that's the fact. We're gonna just have to give her, that's that's for sure. Now it looks like this light is gonna change on us, so we're gonna have to make a stop. <clears throat> At least that's what it looked like. Yep, there it goes. But yeah, that's the story right now. We gotta basically giddy up and go. We gotta put the hammer down. And we still had like 1,374 miles to go to my delivery. <laughs> so, that's going to be a tough one. I can probably do a little over 300 miles yet today. Possibly. Be tight one, but we can do it. And then, uh, we will probably be somewhere around 700 mile mark tomorrow. So, that would leave us probably with a about 200 miles or so left to do or maybe a little more to do on Friday luckily for us that is 11 o'clock my time it's 10 o'clock Alberta time so uh, <clears throat> that would give me an extra hour so we'll give it our best shot that's all we can do that literally means I can only take my 10 hour break and go. I won't have any time to do more than that, that's a fact. So let's put the hammer down and let's go. Are you ready? Fasten your seatbelt ladies and gentlemen and let's go. Yeah man, we're 
just cruising still. Yeah, nothing new really to report, but I figured, yeah, I turn the camera on anyways and show you guys a little bit of the back road that we're traveling on right now. Yes, indeed, we're just cruising right along this uh, Nebraska 14 up here. We got all kinds of corn fields down here. A little bit of a valleys every once in a while and all that good stuff, but hey, nothing really interesting or good sceneries or whatever you want to call it but yeah we're just cruising right along here just giving her we got to if we want to make our delivery uh, on time i already did a uh, little bit of my calculation there and uh if i keep my uh, left door closed and uh keep her pretty steady i think we can do it I really do think we can do it. It's going to mean uh, work really hard, but we can do it. So that makes me happy. I think we can get there by 10 o'clock, so that would be awesome. But other than that, we're just going to keep that back, uh, like left door closed and hammer down, hammer down. That's right. All right, guys, look at this. Looks like they built a brand new bridge up here. I mean, I don't remember ever being on this stretch of highway ever before at all, but hey, we're traveling on it now, right? And I just had to show you this because I thought this was quite interesting. We're actually going over a river and then in the middle of the river is the state border. We're entering. Border entering South Dakota. That's right, we're entering South Dakota. Yeah, we're slowly making our way further north, aren't we? South Dakota, yeah. The great something there. I couldn't quite catch the last part there, but great something. And here we are. Now we're officially in South Dakota. I'm happy, happy, happy. Yeah, only one more state and then we'll be in Canada. We'll only have to go through North Dakota and then we'll be in Canada. I'll be very happy once that happens. Because in Canada I get more hours back than I do in the United States and I can also drive more hours, so yeah. They'll get me there faster. But yeah, it's actually not too bad scenery out here, so figured I will we'll show you a little bit on what we're looking at here every once in a while. That's right. It looks like our day is gonna come to an end here very soon. Looks like we got 14 more miles to go and we'll be done. Yeah! I'm gonna be happy, happy, happy. I have some awesome miles in today. I'll have used all of my 11 hours by the time I pull in there. I won't have a minute to spare. That's the way it's gonna be. But hey, we'll have a good day with the miles, and that's a fact. And we'll do even more yet tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan as of right now, right? So we'll see how it goes, but as of right now, that's the plan. We'll be getting some good miles in tomorrow too. But yeah, we are just about done. My cousin was telling me there in Saskatchewan it was raining there earlier, so starting to get a little cloudy now so I wouldn't actually mind getting a little bit of a rain because that would cool the temperature down it's crazy hot out here today again it's like 38 degrees and it feels like 42 like it's unreal like something that I'm not used to you know like even normally in summertime we don't get it that hot you know like and especially like even further north up here you know like Nebraska and South Dakota like Generally, we wouldn't have those kind of temperatures. The odd time, we might get like maybe 32, 33 maybe, but not 38, you know, and feels like 42. That's kind of unusual, so. So yeah, tomorrow should be a little bit cooler, I think. I'll be way up there north of Canada, so. so it should be a little bit cooler anyways. My wife was saying it was beautiful at home. Nothing really too cold or too hot or anything like crazy like that, so. Should be all right tomorrow, I think. Keep our fingers crossed, right? That's the plan. But yeah, we 
are just about done for today, that's right. So let's go over there and see if we can get us a parking spot. We cannot go any further than that, that's a fact. So we have to find us a parking spot in there. So I do believe they have a Walmart in there too, so we can get a parking spot there at the truck stop. We're gonna have to uh, go to the Walmart and hope they let us park there. But, but yeah. Let's go see what happens. Alrighty guys, it is the next morning, early morning, and uh, I pretty much went to bed almost right away when I stopped in here last night, so uh, didn't really finish off my video, but uh, I got woken up a couple hours later after I, uh, I slept a couple hours, and I got woken up by uh, my truck shaking. And uh, here is why it was shaking, guys. Here's a little footage of that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, have a good one, everybody, before we show this clip. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. So don't go nowhere. Watch this last clip on what happened here. So have a good one, everybody, and be safe out there. behind me that day is gonna come